So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up layers. Now, what we've got here is I've went file and open, and I've actually opened from my files two separate images here. So I've got image one and image two. Now, you're probably thinking, what's the point of having layers? You can just copy and paste on top of each other. It doesn't quite work like that. The good thing about layers is you can actually adjust them so that they are changing the color of the layer because you'll see what I mean in a minute uh, and you're going to have to do a similar task to this given two pictures so I've got image one and image two and I want to basically have this picture but I want to turn it into a night time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and draw around this picture and I'm going to select the area that I want I'm not going to use um, feathering in this case uh, I'm going to try and get as close as I can to it um, but we're going to, in fact, what I will do is I will feather it by two pixels. Uh, so I'm going to draw around this picture. Yeah, I've drawn quite badly over this. Uh, okay, and the rest of it I can just draw around like this. Now, if I was to go to edit copy and then go on to the moon background and go edit paste. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I've selected the layer, edit copy, edit paste. Now you can see that that picture has gone on the top layer. Now what I can do is I can transform it. So you'll remember before you can go to image. You can go edit, transform, not image, you want edit for this one. And what you can do is you can change the size. So I can go to scale and I can make that and upscale it. All right. Now, if I wanted to, I can move that up. I can even do it like that. Now, the problem we've got, I know I've cut around this not in a particularly great way. The problem we've got is that it's nighttime, but yet this image here looks like it's daytime. This is why layering can be very good. Obviously, my cutting around of this image isn't particularly great here. But what you can do is just on that layer, okay, I can go to adjustments and I can edit that layer. So what I can do is I can go to uh, my... Let's go for hue and saturation. Now, can you see that that is now changing that image? But it's not changing the top one because it's only that layer. Let's make it darker. So I'm going to take a bit of saturation out of it. There we go. I've added, I've taken a lot of hue out of it. And you can see that that doesn't look too bad now. So because I've added two different images in, I'm able to edit only one particular layer. So I've canceled that. And you can see the huge difference. So just as a recap, you can go to make sure you selected your layer, image, adjustments. And what you're going to do is you can change the levels in your picture. You can go image adjustments, brightness or contrast. So you can do that as well. I can go to image adjustments and hue and saturation. So you can see that looks a bit more like it's nighttime. So have a play with the layers. You have a few activities that you will need to complete, but that is how you can do that. But if you wanted to move a layer backwards or forwards, what you can do is move that there and that's now placed it back again so there will be activities where you're expected to layer up a number of different images uh, to give a specific effect so have a look at this video tutorial see how you get on with it and uh, we'll start doing some layering